You've made friends. You can't I'll expect me to pat too, you on the sweetie. come on, son. Make Get out there. Popular. Make friends. Hey, there's an emergency meeting at the Elven Forest. Focus goes off now again. Inspiring time to decorate. Just like most women out there, I've really gotten into creepy. Ah! 
Commander Douchebag has decided to bless us with his presence. Let's get started. Humans and elves of Sauron, a great evil has descended upon us. After researching last night, I believe we are facing a threat to our entire world. Clyde's Fortress of Darkness is over four stories tall. So far, he has recruited at least 50 warriors to be on his team, and he is... You have something to say, wizard? Uh, nothing. Just think it's kind of funny how drow elves in the Middle Ages can use PowerPoint. You guys, this is serious! Clyde is attempting to raise an army of darkness. I believe he is messing with something he cannot control. He has recruited many of our friends, and so... Our only hope is for our two factions to join forces. Fuck that! We do not team up with fucking elves! You got a better idea, wizard fat ass? After what you elves did us at the Battle of Wormsley Woods, you think we'll ever trust you? Yeah, you, you tell it, Butter. That, that was Jimmy's fault and he apologized. Oh, oh, we're apologizing now. How about we apologize for breaking the rule about using arcane fire magic? Yeah. Hey, that was the human's rule, not ours. Join forces, my paladin ass. Only good elf is a dead elf. Why don't you t t suck my elven dick, Butters? Enough! Whether we are human or elf isn't gonna matter one bit if all of Zaron is taken over by German zombies. We saw what that green stuff does. We better figure out a way to stop Clyde or there won't be a world to fight in! Even if we join forces, we don't have enough warriors. So we recruit more factions to join us. The Pirates, the Federation, and the Girls. The Girls?! Kyle, the Girls are not gonna fucking play with us. Yeah, dude, we can't convince Girls to do this. No, but maybe the new kid can. The new kid has a power we have yet to understand. He makes friends on Facebook faster than any we have seen. He is really good at getting Facebook friends, I'll give him that. Find a way to get the girls to side with us, Commander Douchebag. I'll deal with the other factions. The rest of you, return to your stations and prepare for war! Huzzah! I guess this means we're friends for now, but I still don't like you, new kid. Hey, you want to go to the ranch? Maybe I can finally get that... get that flu. You need mass services, Commander Douchebag? Don't talk to me, talk to Cal. He's your BFF, remember? You need mass services, Commander Douchebag? We're all in this together now. If you need me to fight Dexter, you get I the will. girls to agree? You just need Speak a human shield. There's always Cartman. We elves craft the finest shit in the land. We elves craft the finest shit in the land.
expiring time to decorate. Just like most women out there, I've really... Cheers. Thanks. I need to get in on that. I saw two rats running around last time I was... What is this? The boys want us to play with them? I do owe you one. I can take you to the girls, but I don't think they'll be very willing to play with boys. Do you wish to speak to the girls now? Floor. If it pleases and sparkles, I move that we vote immediately on the urgent matter involving Monica Ryland. Yes, yeah, right, 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 right away! Excuse me, I'm sorry, but I have an urgent matter that I believe needs to be addressed first. The chair acknowledges Annie. Sunshine, sparkle, Annie Nitz has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, a messenger comes with a request from the boys. Yes! Yeah. 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 What request do the boys ask of us? He doesn't really talk. That's hot. The boys are playing some new role-playing game, and the new kid here wants us to join his team. What? We don't have time for that! Something very big happened, and we must do something! I know. I thought maybe he could help. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I glitter Annie's idea. Sunshine Sparkle, a motion has been glittered to have the new kid help with Monica Ryland. All right, new kid, look. There are terrible rumors going around town that our good friend Allie Nelson was spotted at the abortion clinic. I have never been to the abortion clinic. I'm not a whore. We aren't sure, but we think the girl spreading the rumors about Allie is Monica Ryland. And then she has the gall to act all nice to me. We have to know for sure if Monica Ryland is a two-faced bitch or not. So, we're going to send Monica a Facebook page with your picture, then tell her that you're Bebe's boyfriend from Lakewood, and you want to meet her and ask her what the best thing to get Bebe for her birthday would be, and see if Monica tries to hit on you at all, because that way we can see if Monica is a manipulative bitch. Right. Do this task for us, and the girls will consider your request. Sparkle! Sunshine! You'll find Monica waiting for you at the park. All you have to do is pretend to be Bebe's long-distance boyfriend. When the job is done, come see me. Whatever they ask you to do, remember we need their help. Hey, new kid.
10 out. If shit goes down, I'll come running. Oh, hi. You must be Mike. So, you want to talk about Bebe, huh? Well, look, Bebe's my friend. I think she's really great. I, I don't know if she's the end-all, be-all of girls. I mean, she's a little two-faced if you ask me. But, hey, I've read a lot of your Facebook profile, and I think you're a really interesting boy. Aha! We knew it! You two-faced manipulative whore! What the heck? Thank God we sent the new kid to spy on you, huh, girls? Yeah! Now we know you're a two-faced bitch! What do you mean? You guys are my best friends! Then why are you hitting on my Facebook boyfriend? We brought someone else who might be interested. Monica, what the fuck are you doing? Uh-oh. Hey, Jake. Have fun, you two-faced gang. Guys, wait! Please, come back! What's the big idea trying to fuck my girlfriend? Nothing to say, huh? Well, maybe you'll understand this. I'm over it. Maple Beard? Can you keep a secret? Neither can I. Come play hide and seek with us. You're it. so hot, like he just doesn't give a fuck. The zombies came for the tacos, that's my theory. The girls want to thank you for your help. We can go see them again whenever you're ready. Alright then, let's go. You know the drill. Thank you for helping us determine whether or not Monica was a two-faced bitch. She really made us mad, but it turns out she couldn't have been the one spreading rumors about Allie Nelson going to the abortion clinic. Yeah, so we made up. You guys are the best. 
You see, the thing is, Heidi Turner was supposed to put on the Facebook page that you were Bebe's boyfriend, but she didn't. Because Heidi Turner is a two-faced bitch who says she likes me because she <coughs> stabbed me in the back. Right, so we need to know if Heidi Turner is the two-faced bitch who's spreading rumors about Allie being spotted at the abortion clinic. But in order to do that, we need people to think you're a girl. Makeover! Makeover! You didn't. It's not that bad. Girl, no one could pull that off. Go, girl! You're joking, right? Go, girl! Too cute! That did not just happen. Oh, no, you didn't. Project. It's not that bad. I just grew up a little. Too cute! That outfit's so hot, we wanted to give you this to make it complete. You look all ready to go. Let's get to the quest. All right, new kid. Get inside the abortion clinic and find the records room. Take a picture of all the records from the past week and text them to us. That will help us find out who the two-faced bitch is. I'm sure you can appreciate why none of us can do this. If any of us are spotted in there, people might think we're sluts like Jessica Rodriguez. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, Jesse. Hi, hey, guys. Hey, 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 Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. What are you up to? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Just finding out which of our friends is a two-faced bitch. Cool. We'll see you around. Awesome. Skank. All right, now go in there and get to the records room. Find out if Jesse had an abortion. Nice look, dude. here for an abortion? It's okay, don't be scared. The first one's always the scariest. Take room A, second door to your left. I'm sorry, your little f All you dude, I'll be right here. Access restricted to physicians only. Hi, I'm Dr. Poon Lover. Get on up in the chair and this won't take long at all. Hey, little young to be having an abortion, aren't we? It's okay, we have a booster seat. All right, just sit back and relax. We'll get that fuck trash taken right out of you. Here we go. <laughs> 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 What the? Wow, never seen that before. You burned out the vacuum. I'm gonna have to get this thing fixed. Be back in a minute. Access granted. Thank you, Doctor. Ah! Ah, damn it! 
Oh, it's you! Thank God! Something strange is going on here. The PTA reviewed that tape you got us. The Taco Bell has something called a Plan B. They've been here looking through these records, but why would they be interested in the gynecological files of the women of South Park? I'm afraid now you know too much. We have two more asking a lot of questions. Deal with them quietly. We can't let anyone find out what we were doing there. Before you kill us, tell us why. Why is Taco Bell taking the records of women's vaginas in South Park? I'm picking up some hot readings on the Peggy. Tell us, what do women's vaginas and Doritos Locos Tacos have in common? Peggy is going crazy. Oh, shit! There's an outbreak here! We have contamination in Sector 7! All units to Sector 7 now! Secure the entire building! Put that woman in restraints! Ah! What's going on? Uh, Taco Bell security. Your clinic is infected with a Nazi zombie virus. Nazi zombies? That's ridiculous! And bigoted! I happen to be German! He's one of them! Ah! Tell people what you saw here today! Let's go! Quarantine the place! On. I, I'm just here for an operation. <laughs> oh, there you are, doctor. I'm ready when you are. Is this going to hurt, doctor? Teehee. <coughs> There's something fishy going on here. I think they might be Nazi zombies. We'll see if you're a real doctor. Give her an abortion. Do it. Oh, goodness. Christmas time is once a year. Every critter holds it dear. Phew. Every animal big Ow, my or balls! Small. My balls! Christmas my means balls! So much my to my us favorite all. shopping malls! I'll it's close at five, Doctor. Can we please get this it's over with quickly? Time, and it happens once a year. It's once a year at Christmas time. Oh, that's cold. When that's this is about as wide as I can get. Okay, okay, do it. I'm ready. Once a year. Oh god, it's snug! Get it 
off, get it off! Watch the ball! He did it! All right, so he is a real doctor. What the hell? Oh shit, clear the building! The area's been compromised! Get out now! What the hell is that? He's in Deutschland! Stay good! Mathers, where did you find the alien goo? Broken vials were in the trash can, sir. What could have come into contact with it in the trash can of an abortion clinic? Oh my god.
go now. Add your real name. That's it! That's it! The area is secure! Code green! It's not secure! Tell all units the outbreak has been contained! It's not contained! What the hell are you talking about? It's not contained! You, you don't understand! Chloe Kardashian was in here this morning! She had the biggest abortion I've ever seen! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are you gonna rape us? Mm. Mmm. <laughs> 
Ben.
destroy property someday.
The girls want to thank you for your help. We can go see them again whenever you're ready. All right, then, let's go. You know the drill. New kid, the girls are very thankful for you texting us the abortion records. We are one step away from finding out which girl among us is a two-faced bitch. Unfortunately, the record keeper at the abortion clinic is from Paris, and so everything is written in French. Whoever this two-faced skank is thinks she can outsmart us. We want to help you and the boys play your game, but we just can't have a two-faced bitch out there on the loose. Just get these documents translated for us, and we promise we will join your army. Sparkle! Sunshine! Hey, new kid. Guess I'm minding the shop now. You need any whip? Got some pretty good wares here. Good choice. A nice purchase. Deal. All yours. Good choice.
You sure you don't want to stand here instead of me? Welcome to the neighborhood! Some kind of strange orcish. I've seen this language before. In the kingdom to the north. Oh, the kingdom to the north? Whatever's written on these documents is somehow the key to us recruiting the girls to our army. Is, is that what you're trying to tell us, new kid? Come on, sp spit it out. Getting that document translated isn't going to be easy. To breach the kingdom to the north, you'll have to assume another identity. Your name is no longer Commander Douchebag. It is now Larry Bobinski from Cleveland. The quickest way to the kingdom to the north is through the Lost Forest. Head north, then north again, north, and then north. You better get a real passport photo first or you won't make it past border control. Hi, here to get your passport photo taken? Just head into the room there and we'll get started. Step between the lights, please. Step between the lights, please. That's great. Okay, smile. Oh, do you have anything else you could wear? Could you try something else on? <coughs> Uh, no. Tell you what, how about just no shirt at all? Let's try that. Nope, with this light, we're just gonna need you to lose that shirt. I'm just not feeling that shirt. Yeah, that's gonna work better. Here we go. Oh, those pants don't work with the lighting. Could you roll up your pants? Or, you know what, just take, take the pants off, too. Those pants just aren't working for me. If you want a passport, you're gonna have to lose the pants, pal. Okay, that's good, really nice. Yes, very nice. 
How about we lose the underwear? You sick son of a bitch! Stop him! You'll never take me alive! Well, here we go again. Wow, good job, kid. You're quite the fighter. All right, let's get this over with. Say cheese. Congrats, kid. You have your first passport. Congrats, kid. You have your first passport. If you're ever traveling, Photo Dojo has a great deal on passport photos. Back when all the sensors are in place. Excelsior! The best way to get to Canada is north.
Alex, when are we gonna catch a break? No, dog. Uh, can't I just go right back home after the flight so I don't get grounded?
the sake of heck! Damn if you ain't a noble knight after all. All right, kid, here you go. Maybe we should just stay put and wait for someone to rescue us. Boy, the cattle ranch. We're here. Excuse us. Hello. Hey, get off my ranch. Sorry to bother you, sir. We are elven warriors of the forest. I understand you might have a, f a flute for sale. You want to buy the flute? It just so happens I'm a level 10 bard, and a flute is just what I need to play magical songs of enchantment. Of enchantment. Magical songs of enchantment. Of enchantment. A flute is just what I need to play. Ma a flute is just what I need to play magical songs of enchantment. Of enchantment. Magical songs of enchantment. Of enchantment. A flute is just what I need to play magical songs of enchantment. Of enchantment. Magical songs of enchantment. <coughs> magical songs of enchantment. Of enchantment. Magical songs of enchantment. Of enchantment. A flute is just what I need to play. Ma A flute is just what I need to play magical songs of enchantment. Of enchantment. Magical songs of enchantment. Of enchantment. Magical sounds of enchantment. Of enchantment. A flute is just what I need to play magical songs of enchantment. Enchantment. Yeah, well, the only problem is the flute's in the barn, and there's where the crazy cattle are locked up. Damnedest thing I ever saw. Some of the cattle started acting real funny. I, I tried to calm them down, but they shouted something in German and, and then tried to kill me. Well, don't worry, sir. You just need the help from a level 10 bard and his warrior friend. Leave it to us. All right, if you say so. Here's the keys to the barn. All right, cows, it's time to stop misbehaving. Looks like we got a fight on our hands. Holy free holy. Don't forget to tip your serving winch.
don't forget to tip your serving winch. It's a good day to die. Uh, for you, that is. Pretty all right. <coughs> did you find the flute? I sure did, Rancher Bill. And now my bardic abilities will be greater than ever before. Well, you earned it. See you around. Thanks, new kid. I couldn't have done it without you. Where should we go next? I know exactly where we are. We're at the... the we're at the... Know exactly where we are.
I know exactly where we are. We're at the... We're at the... No, actually, I don't have any idea where we are. Now, you see? Ah, I see you have a passport. All right, hand it over. Papers appear to be in order. Very well. I hereby grant thee access to the great nation of Canada. Open the gate! Oh, I'll do it. Hold on. There we go. You're not from around here, are you? You're not from around here, are you? Woo! Who the fuck just walks into someone's house? Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Best stay here in town. Those dire wolves can rip your anus off the capital of all Canada. Welcome to the Ottawa Clinic. Are you here for... Ooh, duck, why is your money all green and oogly? Welcome to the Bank of Canada. Oh ho, American money. The current exchange rate... Talking to the prince is the best part of the tour, or the candelabras, depending on what you're into. Sorry, Gat, I'm on duty. Thank you. 
It's a self-guided tour. You're gonna have to figure it out on your own. Oh, hail the prince and princess of Canada! Hail, yes! Sorry, Gad. I'm on duty. The audio tour is narrated by Brian Adams. The audio tour is narrated by Brian Adams. Well, well, what have we here? A hero from the South? Not just anyone can pass the guard at the Great Border. You must have beaten the odds and obtained a passport. I am the Prince of Canada, and this is my lovely wife. How can I help you? What's this? Hmm. Sorry, but I don't know what this says. I've seen this language before, but I believe it's only spoken in a specific part of Canada. I suggest you travel west of here and seek out the Earl of Winnipeg. He can tell you where in Canada they speak this freakish tongue. But I warn you, the wilderness of Canada is filled with dire wolves. You know what dire wolves are, right? They're like wolves, but they're dire. Hold it right there! Here are your photos with the prince and princess. Would you like two 8x10s or six 5x7s? All right, there you go. You can exit right through there. Personally, I would have picked the 8x10s. Welcome to the Bank of Canada. Come back, son! Welcome to the Ottawa Clinic. Your health is fully restored and your HIV test is negative. Thank you. Hey, fellas. You guys have been great. Ciao. Well, what are we waiting for? Jesus.
I hope we didn't hurt you too bad. Welcome to Winnipeg. Welcome to Winnipeg. This is a conservative township, so my Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Jacking's dangerous work. What with all these diapers, man? They say that two Canadian monks live on a secluded island in the middle of Vancouver. This poor citizen was killed by a dire bear. You know what a dire bear is, right? It's like a bear, but it's this dying. poor citizen. Sorry, but you know what a dire bear is, right? Sorry, buddy, but then you know what a dire bear is, right? Ah, yes. This writing is definitely Canadian. But why should I help a foreigner when Winnipeg is completely overrun with diabands? Tell you what, kill off all the diabands in the north of town, and I'll help you however I can. <sighs> Surrender, or... Or, uh, or bad stuff will happen. Jove, you've done it! Look at all these diabare pelts! Now I can finally make a diarrhoe! Alright, give me that document! Mm, yes, this is actually written in the language of Eastern Canadian! The Minister of Montreal can translate it! But I'm afraid the Prince has imprisoned the Minister of Montreal in the caverns of Quebec! I will speak with the Prince! Return to him and he should let you speak with the Minister! Boy, oh boy, I will have the most diarrhoe in all of Canada! Seems I 
agitated lately. There you are. I understand you wish me to release the Minister of Montreal. I'd like to help you, but I think this might be another ploy by the Bishop of Banff to have Montreal allowed back into the kingdom. Some Canadians think our nation should be united again, my lord. Shut up! Who the fuck are you? Listen, it's all because the Bishop of Banff is a liberal. He does these things just to make life difficult for me. I must ask you to perform another noble quest. Go to Banff and kill the bishop. <gasps> kill the bishop of Banff? Shh, you, shh. Kill the bishop of Banff for me and bring me his balls as proof. Do this and I shall allow you into the catacombs of Quebec. Make haste! Have you been to Newfoundland? You won't find better sodomy in all of Canada. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Sure, but if you ask me, the deadliest catch is man. Banff Canadians are quite religious. Wonderful films are shot in Vancouver. All of them are about cabins terrorized by serial killers. Welcome to Vancouver, the San Diego of Canada. People come from far and wide to buy our 2010 Winter Olympics merchandise. They say that the Duke earned his title by winning a log roll with the last Duke. Yes, yes. 
Yes, I know. But Ottawa is clear on the other side of Canada. How are we supposed to get there? Uh-huh. Yes, I see. Oh, wow. No, I didn't know that. Yes, come on. Yes, I hate that guy, too. Uh-huh. No, I haven't seen that show. Yet. The Duke of Vancouver is a very busy man. Someday, maybe I'll be Duke of Vancouver. Uh, let me call you back, Larry. What in the name of O. Henry is an American doing in my office? Who let this kid in? Uh, let me call you back, Larry. What in the name of O. Henry is an American doing in my office? Who let this kid in? Uh, let me call you back, Larry. What in the name of O. Henry is an American doing in my office? Who let this kid in? Thy neighbor. <laughs> Remember the golden rule. He knows not what he does. I shall turn the other cheek. <coughs> have to kill me. I'll go away and the prince will never know I'm alive. Please, take these dire pig testicles and tell the prince they're mine. Ah! Maybe if we replace his balls with the pig ball, he'll come back to life again.
that. Did you kill him? Yay, the bishop's balls. Now religion won't interfere with government. How can we ever repay you? You said you would free the minister of Montreal, my lord. <coughs> Sorry, no can do. With both the bishop and the minister taken care of, my throne is secure. But my liege, we made a promise. Shh, you. Shh. Quickly, you must speak with the Duke of Vancouver. He can help you get into the catacombs of Quebec. Give the Duke this. Hurry now. A letter from the princess? <coughs> what the? Why, according to this, the prince had something to do with the bishop's murder and has imprisoned the minister unjustly. Young man, if you wish to brave the catacombs of Quebec, you would have to speak with the monks who live to the southeast of town. Only they could train you in such sorcery. American everyone is talking about, Terrence. Nah, it can't be. He can't be a master of spellcraft. He doesn't even know magic. He probably doesn't even know how to fart. How did your ass learn such incredible magic What's so What is the sound of one anus farting? <laughs> now you know. That one sounded like it hurt. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? What is the sound of one anus farting? <laughs> now you know. Yeah, you should take me mud. <laughs> Who are you? Witches?
Oui, oui, oui! Céleste, mauvais! Allô? En secours!
feel sad for him. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Welcome to the Bank of Canada. Oh, ho, American money. The current exchange rate. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares?
With dire bearer pelts, I can make myself a nice dire robe. You know what a dire robe is, right? <laughs> no, dragon shop. Any magician's apprentice can drag it out. <laughs> it's not like he fought it into his hand and hit you in the face with it, Philip. <laughs> How did your ass learn such incredible magic so easily? Banff Canadians are quite religious.
Bad Dorit! If you're texting your friends about this game, tell them it's good. Good. How come he can't sneak a fart behind your fast? <laughs> the sneaky squeaker! Very impressive. He is worthy of our training after all. Yes. Prepare thyself, child. It is time for you to learn some true magic. Your magic is impressive, young American. Not since Eric Von Thunderpants of Nova Scotia have we seen such prowess. But now, you must learn to control your anus muscles in just the right way to change a spell's frequency. Some objects seem too large to be damaged by magic, but now I will break through it with Nagasaki! Here, watch again. 
from Alberta will have their way with you unless you damage them all with one move. Nagasaki!
Well, you guys, I have to sneeze. No, false alarm.
Je suis libre! Je suis libre! Oh! Ne vous besoin de quelque chose, Stradut? Ok! C'est là, c'est Stradut, passez là! C'est là, c'est Stradut, passez là! Voilà! Bonjour! Merci beaucoup! Maybe we should just stay put and wait. I'll give you a good price. Hello, new kid. Ready to go back? The girls are ready to see you. See, right here it says that five women were at the clinic that day. And right there it says Nancy Turner, 3.30 p.m. That's Heidi's mom! So Heidi Turner was the two-faced bitch! The evidence is irrefutable. Thanks, new kid. We now know it was Heidi Turner all along who was spreading the rumors. Freaking whore! Two-faced butt rag! Fuck Heidi Turner and her fucking two-faced ass! But Heidi's really sorry, so we're deciding to forgive her. I love you guys so much. We love you too, Heidi! Yay! 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 You treated us well, new kid, so you have our services. Tell the boys we will play their game. Sparkle! Sunshine! Carmen gave me a swirly in that public bathroom over there one time. Find Christ, my son, and you shall be greatly rewarded.
Can you keep a secret? Neither can I. Tee hee hee hee. You found me! Tee hee hee! Next time finding me won't be so easy! Do not despair, for many find Jesus only to lose him later. But the soul that does not abandon its search will surely be rewarded with his company. Remember that. The Lord shall make himself known when he chooses to reveal himself, but he will only reveal... <laughs> uh, well done, my son. I hope you didn't peek. Remember, I will always be at the side of those who have found me. You can call me once per day with this, but I can't help against bosses. They're scary. Come find me again for another. Gaan lekker en jij Frakki. Spel heb ik iets anders dan. Man, this place is super crappy. En je hebt al die game uitgecheckt en je is redelijk uit. Everyone, listen up. The girls have agreed to fight by our side. The pirates and the Federation factions are standing by to fight as well, my lord. Then the time for talk is over. Let us all make haste to Clytan!
Today, we are not elves and humans. Today, we fight as one. What we do here now will be written and sung about on YouTube for days to come. Yeah! Let us besiege the army of darkness with the courage of dragons. <coughs> Let us delve their dungeon with swords and sorcery! Let us charge our shields and use photon torpedoes to vaporize the Klingons! Kevin, god damn it. Every fucking time, Kevin. God fucking damn it, seriously. I'm sorry. Armies of Justice! Prepare! Froggy, 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 froggy. Ready! And... Let's be the clash! <laughs> and hope. Burn, baby, burn! 
You should leave the comedy to me. You should leave the comedy to me. Let's see how you this. You should leave the comedy to me. You should leave the comedy to me. My bardic powers are no use here. I'm gonna blow you up. the Dark Lord's the fuck? Make your move! Stalling won't save you! Bitch. Somebody's baking brownies. <laughs>
Sound up, Sergeant. my drawers if I was you. No, no. Please, Steven! 
I hope we don't get in trouble for this.
feel my righteous fury! There you go, Al. Yeah, that's it, little buddy. Uh. 
Vergebenheit! No, 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 no! Nicht leben! Falsch! Nicht! Ich stolzer Freude! I got your back, yo. Oh, hamburgers! You want to throw down, dog? I'll throw down. Salzergebenheit! Wir halten Deutschland! Schule. Ich das fucking funny? Stolzergebenheit! Not cute, dude.
Gap. Durch eure Schule! In stolz of Freude, please leave And so the party journeyed onward. Here's the plan. Attack each tower and raise the gate so we can get into Clyde's lair. Maplebeard, clear the path. Yay! Fuck you. <laughs> get that torp. Oof. Oh no! <laughs> Fucking weak, dude. Bitch! Make your move! bigger things to deal with.
get stuck! God damn it! Sergeant. chance. Aha! You're trapped. I'm a level 14 thief and the Dark Lord's chief assassin, and you will all perish here and now. Douchebag, I'm stuck! Can you get me in? My three Nazi cowmen...
idiots will take care of you. I should have started this sooner. Hold on, it's almost there. You're gonna get it, Craig, you fucking traitor! Now let's see how you fare against the Dark Lord Chief Assassin and some cow! We're gonna send you straight to heck! You should have turned evil when you had a chance. <laughs> Why fight one Craig when you could fight five? I'm immune to splash damage, Clyde said. Let's rumble. That was too bad. Feel my righteous fury. <laughs> Stop. Why fight one Craig when you could fight five?
Let's rumble. We serve a dark and terrible master. has been served unto you this day, Craig! You want my number? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sick, dude. <laughs> Whoa, dude. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you eat? <laughs> Climb on up! Come on, we're almost to climb! I found out what they were doing at the women's clinic. They were looking for a candidate to put a snook into. They're gonna nuke all of South Park. A snook? You boys don't understand. They've put the snook here. Who did? Whoever these people are claiming to be Taco Bell. We should have known. We should have known Taco Bell is far too compassionate and caring to be so secretive. The quality of their character, like the quality of their food, should have never come into question. Dad, where is the woman with the snook? They didn't put it in a woman. Well, all I remember was that there were these big government guys, and they wrestled me to the floor at my house. And then I remember thinking, well, this is fun, but wait, is that a thermonuclear device? I had some drinks, so putting a thermonuclear device up my ass wasn't completely out of the question. Oh, Jesus Christ, how long do I have? We don't know, Mr. Slave, but it could be a matter of minutes. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out! We can't just pull it out. Snooks have triggers on them. We have to abort it from inside. Oh, come on. Who knows how to do abortions and can get really, really small? Hmm, who? Who could possibly be able to make themselves tiny and know something about abortions? Uh, hmm, let's see. Who could there be? Hmm. Oh, uh, who could it be? Let me think. There's got to be someone. <laughs> Oh, look! He's all small! Wow, this kid is just full of surprises! Quick, get up there and disarm the snook! Hurry! Oh, be careful! I might have also put some bats up there the other night! Oh, man! It stinks like shit in here! What's that smell? Is it me? New cat! You must find a way out of this place, or you will surely die. The way behind you is blocked by the large sphincter. Make haste to the large intestine. All will be made clear to you then. A great adventure is waiting for you ahead. Journey onward to it, skip, skip, or you skip. will soon be dead. The road ahead is full of oh, danger sick. and fright. But push onward, new kid, with all of your might. New kid! <laughs> Nuke, nuke, nuke. Well, I no help here. You need some water.
Dude, are we really gonna go up Slave's asshole? Your word is the command, my lord. It's worth a try. Sparky! Here, boy! Not exactly sure what you're asking. No power. <laughs> Dude, what'd you eat? Like you, I was once used for pleasure as an anal plaything, and thus perished in this place. Now you must defeat my angry spirit in order to move forward. I know, I don't really sound that angry, but trust me, I am. Oh boy. Let me wings journey a distance far and fast To find his way out of a gay man's ass my anger is greater now. Don't look back, let me wings with all of your mind. Torch to help you light the way There's still a lot of ground to inside the man so gay Ahead of you lies adventure And your strength still lies within Freedom from the ass of doom is the treasure you will win Lemmy Winks has made it out The tale is nearly through Now that you're the gerbil king, there's more 
you hit like my grandpa. Hi, Tom. Little help over here. Let me wings journey Kind of like dying right now to find his way oh. out of the gay man's ass The road ahead is filled with danger and fright But push onward, let me wings with all of your In mind My so anger is greater now Somewhere way up ahead Don't look back, let me wings so you'll soon be dead let me wings, let me wings, the time is growing late Slow down now and see your ah. face You're going down! Out! Kaya! Hi, Tom! Help you light the way There's still a lot of ground to cross inside the man so gay Ahead of you lies the your strength still lies within Freedom from the ass of doom is the treasure you will win Lemmy Winks has made it out, the tale is nearly through Now that you're the gerbil king, there's more adventures to go on. Fly away to faraway lands and to the setting sun. There's still so many enemies and battles yet to fight. You ask for it. Lemmy wings the gerbil king. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Lemmy wings. 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 Gerbil king. Let me wings journey the distance far and fast To find the way out of the gay man's ass The road ahead is still yeah. the danger oh. and fright But push onward, let me wings with all of your mind Hi, car! Oh no you don't! Big head. The Sparrow Prince lies somewhere way up ahead Don't look back, let me wings so you'll soon be dead Lemmy wings, lemmy wings, the time is growing late. Slow down now and seal your fate. My anger is greater now. <laughs> Take the magic helmet torch to help you light the way. The steam high down the ground inside the man so gay. Ahead of you lies adventure, and your strength still lies within. Freedom oh, the last of doom is the treasure you will win. You hit like my grandpa. Kaya! Hi, Tom! The gerbil king has more ventures to go. Ah, there's still so many enemies and battles yet. Let me wings the gerbil king to be cold another night. Let me, let me, let me wings, 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 let me wings. My anger is greater now. Let me wings journey the distance far and fast To find your way out of a gay man's ass The road in the air is full of danger and fright But push onward, let me wings with all of your might Ow! The Pharaoh Prince lies somewhere way up ahead Don't look back, let me wings so you'll soon be dead let me wings, let me wings, the time is growing late. Slow down now and seal your fate. My anger is greater now. Uh. 
Oh no you don't. Sparrow Prince. Like you, I was once used for pleasure as an anal plaything, and thus perished in this place. Now you must defeat my angry spirit in order to move forward. I know, I don't really sound that angry, but trust me, I am. Fresh meat for my trusty wolf companion! <laughs> Many wings journeyed a distance far and fast To find Big his head. way out of a gay man's ass the road ahead is filled with danger and fright But push onward, Lemmy Winks, with all of your might In high sin! The Sparrow Prince lies somewhere way up ahead Don't look back, Lemmy Winks, or you'll soon be dead Lemmy Winks, Lemmy Winks, the time is growing <laughs> I'm so I'm so now and see oh. your face Is greater now. Hi, <laughs> y'all. Many enemies and battles yet to fight. For Lemmy Winks, the gerbil king, to be told another night. Lemmy, Lemmy, Lemmy Winks, Lemmy, Lemmy Winks, Lemmy Winks, Lemmy Winks, Lemmy Winks, Lemmy Winks, Lemmy Winks, gerbil king. Way out of a gay man's ass. The road ahead is filled with danger and fright. But push onward, Lemmy Winks, with all of your might. Yeah! Uh. Yeah! Hi, Tom! No way, dude! Sparrow Prince lies somewhere way up ahead. Don't look back, Lemmy Winks, or you'll soon be dead. Lemmy Winks, Lemmy Winks, the time is growing late. Slow down now and seal your face. Even our shyness! Take the magic helmet torch to help you oh, light hey. There's still a lot of darkness inside the land. Ahead of you lies adventure, and your strength still lies within. Freedom from the ass of doom is the treasure you will win. Lemmy Winks has made it out, the tale is nearly through. My anger is greater now. Now that you're the gerbil king, there's more ventures to go on. That's enough of that. You have proven yourself in combat, young anal plaything. You may journey forth. Find the Snook's trigger and save the outside world. Fare thee, Matt, and fare thee well.
Big mistake. You got somewhere you'd rather be? Total Ponage. Carmen's mom's. I didn't join the company for this. We've got our orders. Yeah, but how come we always get the shit jobs? Go clean out the barracks. Go round up civilians in their homes. 
Engaging hostile. Uh. Uh, excuse me, is this really a good idea? To the stormer dark, neath the cold depths of the London heart. Hello, new kid. I am Katatafish. Katatafish of the Stormex Cove. The trigger of the thermonuclear device lies before you. I have tried to solve its riddle, but I have been unable to disarm it. Katatafish riddle will soon be told. There are only moments to spare. Find a way to disengage the trigger, or all will be lost. Yeah, maybe someone else could help you with that. I think you need a bard here. Your w word is the command, my lord. This calls for a little bardic access. Snook abortion sequence initiated. Begin Christmas electrolytic infusion. Once a year. Every critter holds it check dear. placement. Every animal Dangerous critical small. arterial rupture. Christmas means Ow. so Jesus. much to us all. Your w word is the command, my lord. This calls for a little bardic access. Snook abortion sequence initiated. Begin electrolytic infusion. Ow, oh, Jesus. Every critter holds it dear. Oh. animal, big or small. Christmas means so much to us all. It's once a year, it's Christmas time. 
Cold, so cold. When we hear Danger, about abortion access, slit. abortion access, slit dilated. Initiate control chip removal. Wrong chip, wrong chip, ow. Not that, I needed that. Wrong chip, self-destruction sequence aborted. What is it, Mr. Slick? What are you feeling? Jesus! Jesus Christ! Great job, new kid. But your journey is not yet complete. Nurse, but should we ever need your services again, we will call. Great job. You've disarmed the snook. South Park is saved. Yes. Now let's finish this, new kid. Let's beat Clyde once and for all and take back the stick of truth. If you ever want to go back in, just ask. It'll all be totally worth it when we get the stick back. Fools! You thought you could conquer the Fortress of Darkness! Clyde, back away from that stuff! Oh, but I have yet to complete my army! You have come to witness the power of darkness! Stop! Clyde! You have no idea what that stuff is! Yeah, huh, it's green sauce from Taco Bell. I took it from their construction site. Dude, that's not Taco Bell sauce. Then why'd I find it at the Taco Bell? It leaked out of a UFO, Clyde! It's toxic goo from another galaxy! Think about it! Since when does Taco Bell have a green sauce, dude? Actually, since about a year ago. What? Taco Bell has green sauce now. No way! They've had it longer than a year. I've always gotten spicy green burritos. Yeah, no, I'm saying in the packets. They just started putting green sauce in packets. The fuck? How the fuck did I miss this? Ha-ha! I don't seem so foolish now, do I? That doesn't mean you have Taco Bell green sauce, dip fuck! Yeah, Clyde, why do you think that shit's glowing? Maybe because of the three varieties of chili peppers. Just give us a stick, asshole. Or what? You'll beat me up? Ha-ha! I've got another surprise for you! I'm gonna make love to you, woman! Ah! Big head! Get him, Commander Douchebag! This all makes sweet love. Hell! Damn it, I brought you back to life to kill these assholes. Don't forget to tip your serving winch. It's a good day to die. Uh, for you, that is. Ugh.
of torment are at an end, ruler of darkness. Uh, okay, um, you know what? I'm not playing anymore. You have broken the rules of the stick, and for that, I banish thee. I banish thee from space and ah! <laughs> We did it, dude! That was awesome. You did it. Your noble quest is at an end. And for all your deeds, and all your time put into this, I hereby promote you to King Douchebag. Congratulations. Quickly, now let's get the stick back to safety before anyone can do... We've got him. We've got the Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What the... Who, what? So, it really is the Dragonborn. Just can't stop being a thorn in our side, huh? He has the stick of truth. How does this guy know you, King Douchebag? King Douchebag? Is that what you told him your name was? Why didn't you tell them your real name, Dovahkiin? You don't remember, do you? How we tried to find you? Look, that stick belongs with the Fighters of Zaron. Give it back! Fighters of Zaron? Boys, what's going on here is much more complex than that. This isn't the first time a UFO has crashed to Earth. You see, in 1947, a UFO crashed in Roswell, New Mexico. Oh, God. Oh, brother, spare us. Hang on a sec. A UFO crashed in Roswell, and a new government agency was created to investigate the paranormal. Our agency. Can we skip this? Like, hit the skip button or something? Oh, you don't want to skip this. Yes, we do. Whenever aliens are spotted, vampires run amok, our agency is there, and we have never lost a fight. That is... Until four years ago, when we investigated a child. Yawn, yawn, yawn. A child who had an unnatural power inside him. I had orders from the president to secure the child so that we could harness his powers before our enemies could. But he slipped through our hands. The government wants the new kid for his farts? That's dumb. His farts? No! His amazing ability to make friends so quickly on any social network. Before he was five years old, he had 3.2 billion friends on Facebook alone. Do you have any idea the power that kind of gift yields in today's world? It's time to come with us, Dovahkiin. Time to stop resisting and use your gift for your country. 
Is he really still talking? Are we so different, you and I, Dovahkiin? Uh. You have to do what the government tells you to do, just like me. We're all just pawns in their game. I'll admit you are fascinating. You have more power than any child I've ever come across, and yet all you seem to really care about is this. It must be very important. What does it do? Whoever controls the stick controls the universe, dumbass. Yeah, stupid. Controls the... But then... I wouldn't have to do what I was told anymore. I could... <laughs> I control the universe! Get back! Back, I say, all of you! I can do anything! Anything I want! <laughs> I no longer need you, new kid! I control the universe! Ah! Aha! Ah! Ah! Damn thing! How does it work? Show me how it works! Yeah, right. Dovahkiin, why should we be on the opposite sides? Join me, Dovahkiin. Rule by my side. Rule. And you can have this all to yourself forever. I can offer you all! Just get me safely out of here! You can rule with this once again! You underestimated the character of the fighters of Zaron. What binds us is more than that relic. And you failed to recognize the character of our alliance. Yes, and that friendship is more important to any of us than even the stick of truth. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> Princess Kenny! At least one of you has some sense. You'd sell us all out? But why, Princess Kenny? Because Princess Kinney was born a half-orc, whose entire village was wiped out by humans and elves. Morgan Freeman? You see, when humans and elves lived together in the forest of Hollow Falls, an elven queen fell in love with the orc known as Dandar, the first one to possess the Stick of Truth. They loved in secret and had a child. A beautiful little girl, a girl who watched as everyone she loved was killed in cold blood. And that is why she waited and plotted, all this time, to take the stick from you. For Princess Kinney is true heir to the Stick of Truth. Wow, that's pretty cute. Just one thing, Morgan Freeman. How come every time something convoluted needs explaining, you show up? Because every time I show up and explain something, I earn a freckle. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Princess Kinney, come back here! <laughs> Welcome, weary adventure. Can I interest you in some of my wares?
give us the stick, Princess Kenny. You don't want to go down like this, bro. Yes! Go, Princess Kinney! I don't think I like you very much. Princess Kinney truly is the fairest maiden in all the land! Good work, Princess Kinney. Finish them off. Finish these weaklings, Princess Kinney! The princess is magic. It's so pretty. Oh, <laughs> You fools! Princess Kinney controls the universe! Show them, Princess Kinney! The princess is magic! It's so pretty!
Finish these weaklings, Princess Kinney. Princess Kenny truly is the fairest maiden in all the land. Good work, Princess Kinney. Finish them off. You fools! Princess Kinney controls the universe! Hey, stop, 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 stop,
death comes for you, Dragonborn, you'd better pray for a miracle! Oh, hamburgers! <laughs> Foolish Princess Kitty! Do you not know that death is a servant of chaos? For all the Make me proud, King Douchebag! Use your rainbow attack, Princess Guinea! That wasn't so bad. It's time Man, this is a pretty sick boss fight. Dragonborn, you'd better pray for a miracle. Oh, hamburgers! <laughs> Foolish Princess Kitty! Do you not know that death is a servant of chaos? Use your rainbow attack, Princess Kitty! Hit them with the zombie vomit! No, 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 no! Princess Kenny truly is the fairest maiden in all the land!
Death comes for you, Dragonborn. You'd better pray for a miracle. Oh, hamburgers! <laughs> Foolish princess kitty. Do you not know that death is a servant of chaos? How can this be? Let's do it. Well, that chaos energy is making me a little woozy. Princess's magic, it's so pretty! Princess Kitty! That's it? Hit them with the zombie vomit! Okay, I kicked the baby! Don't take the goddamn baby! Yes, drink your goo, Princess Kitty. You'll be invincible. Oh, no, you don't. Shit, I shanked it. Don't try to even hide. Use your rainbow attack, Princess Kitty! Fight for a demon hide! Demon hide! Hit them with the zombie vomit! I 
Princess Kitty, call upon your beautiful Nazi unicorn! Use your rainbow attack, Princess Guinea! <laughs> Gentlemen's oath! Dragonborn must have farted on a princess's balls. You guys sure about this? There's no other way. It drove our friend to madness and nearly killed us all. So what do you guys want to play now? How about dinosaur hunters? Or pharaohs and mummies? Let's ask Douchebag. What do you want to play next, dude? Screw you guys, I'm going home. Wow, what a dick. <laughs> 